do you feel like this was the perfect time to release the Serena Project? Like, why now is it the perfect time for us to all surrender? Well, <laughs> I feel like with me, it was just like, I needed to do this, what was going on. It was just a me project, a me thing. And it's like, it's so much I'm trying to do now as far as once I surrendered what I felt freed up from. Like once I surrendered, I felt freed up mentally to feel like I could challenge myself to do more. And it's like right now, it was perfect timing for me because I'm starting to do music, you know what I'm saying? Push myself back into music. I did music a long time ago, but it's like I never kind of took it nowhere. And it's like now it's do or die right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like all the shit that's going on in the world is like you never know what's gonna happen in the future. You know what I'm saying? If any if anything can help, why not try it? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like push this surrender project, pushing this music, just trying to push healing in any way possible I can contribute. Like it's yeah. just now or never. Right. Yeah. That's good, man. And that's why I love, like, the way, because how we met was just, like, really on some organic stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, you just came over mm -hmm. to the house, and then you hit me up about this was just like, dang. Yeah. Me, of all people. Yeah, yeah, I read your energy, you feel me? Yeah. Like, when I came into the house, I was just like, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I could just feel like I related to you. And I just didn't understand why. And then when we finally talk, I'm like, yeah, I already felt it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... It was genuine. It was genuine. Very genuine. Like, I feel like even before I knew about the Surrender Project, like, this year was definitely my Surrender Project. Definitely. Like, once you actually told me the other day what the Surrender Project was, this year has definitely been my year of surrender. Yeah. And, like... I can't wait to see where this is going because like I know without me knowing that I was on a surrender project and I released so much I can only imagine when you actually put in the work intentionally right. Right. what the end result is going right. to be. Definitely. Definitely. Like I've been trying to really just put take all the risks. Take all the risks when it comes to myself. Yeah. Like, just being on myself. Yeah that's been my thing. Being being on myself. On myself. Yeah. I've been like, too, I feel like once you surrender stuff, a lot of the stuff that I surrendered was trauma. Mm -hmm. And trauma just keep you in a, a loop, you feel me? A loop of wanting to do stuff and then getting excited about doing it. And then the fear of rejection or abandonment kicks in and then you back a dreamer again. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, fuck that. Like, if I'm surrendering everything, like, why can't I evolve too? Why surrender everything and still do the same patterns? Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because trauma will keep you doing the same shit. So it's like, if I don't have the trauma anymore, I don't have to keep those patterns. So but how I'm are you able to identify your trauma? Because sometimes, and I know especially for me, like sometimes I don't realize what's trauma and what's learned. Like, if that makes a difference. Because sometimes trauma and learning don't make a difference. Yeah, you can learn somebody else's trauma. Yeah. You feel me? You can learn somebody your, your parents' trauma. But um, with me learning my, my trauma patterns was how I interacted with people. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I looked at the closest relationships to me, like, and I seen patterns, like, patterns of stuff that I was doing and how I was interacting with them, and I seen how it affected them. You know what I'm saying? And I look back on past relationships and how what I did because of my trauma affected them. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, okay, like, this a me thing. Can't, it can't keep being, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You keep hearing the same shit, and then it's like everybody just feel the same way. Like, no, it's a me thing. This is something I'm doing that's affecting them. So when I start realizing that, it's like, okay, let me ask them, since they love me and I love them, let me ask them, how can I change it? How would it make you feel better? And they show me a different perspective, and I'm like, okay, maybe I learned the wrong patterns. Mm -hmm. So when I start doing a different perspective and start doing that, and it feels better, I'm mm -hmm. not I'm breaking trauma patterns. Like those loops, I'm breaking those loops because it's more stuff, I guess, vibrates to you when you start trying to break out of that trauma because you've been in trauma so long, you got this same dull, low vibrational energy, you know what I'm saying? And you carry that, you walk around with that all the time. But when you start breaking that shit, you start seeing different interactions, different vibrations, different people 
start coming to you like how I met y'all, or I mean mm. other people, like different people will just start coming to you that's in your purpose. Mm. It's because now you out of that trauma. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like once I got out of that trauma, things that was into my purpose started vibrating towards me. So I know I'm doing right. Yeah, you know that's crazy, right? Yeah. Like for the longest you think about like you said, the loop, the same dudes, the same mm -hmm. type of arguments with your friends and family and stuff. And then one day you'd be like, okay, I need to set a boundary. Right. Like, what is this boundary? And what am I trying to, like, what is the, what am I trying to get out of this? Right. So how were you able to set boundaries? Like, because for me, it's not easy at all. I'm going to say this, like. You get tired of hurting, yeah. you're going to set some boundaries. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like It's the same as like in a fight. You get tired of getting your ass beat, you're going to swing. You're going to start yeah. fighting. <laughs> so it was like with me, it was like I just got tired of pain, bro. Mm -hmm. I got tired of sitting on the floor, balled up, crying. I got tired of drinking until I go to sleep. I got tired of the bullshit, numbing myself. And it's like, come on, bro. Like mm -hmm. You got to do something better. Like yeah. This shit ain't doing nothing but numbing you temporarily, and then you back into the feelings deeper now. Like. Now you just, you know what I'm saying, carrying this shit. And then when you vibrating low and doing that shit, you attract negative motherfuckers yeah. too. You feel me? It's like, no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't want to keep that shit around me. It wasn't doing nothing. It wasn't growing me. It wasn't, I don't know. I just, you get tired. Yeah. And I just think physically, I wasn't tired yet. Mentally, I got tired. You know what I'm saying? It took my mind to start seeing like this shit is set up for me to fail. What I'm doing is set up for me to be a statistic. Yeah. You know, it's just like, nah, like, after seeing my mama and my sister, like, I got older siblings go through the same thing. I'm like, mm, you got time to save yourself yeah. before you fuck up. Like, you got time to save yourself. And that was just when I got tired. Yeah. Super tired, bro. I have, having kids out of way a lot, you feel me? My, my daughter dad in jail, in prison, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I had to do that shit all alone. You know what I'm saying? Then I got another relationship you now my son's dad that shit didn't work out so it's like i got fucking tired like i ain't trying to you know what i'm saying be a single parent doing this shit going through this it's like i got tired of myself yeah. like that's myself it, this shit. That, like that, that inside that's how i got started with being part of your own rescue because like i told you at first it was just straight out of like oh ain't nobody gonna come here and save you you need to do this for yourself and then i realized it's legitimately people out here that love you Right. Like, right. you just have to love yourself enough to let them love you. Right. You have to want to show up for yourself so they know how to show up for you. Definitely. So how do you be a part of your own rescue? Like, what what is your, like, rescue? Knowing that if it ain't me, then it ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that. Yeah. I know that. If it ain't me, it's not happening. I don't think about nobody helping me. I don't think about help being an option. I just think it's me. But you know, like, that hurts me because, like, I want to be able to help, like, mm -hmm. ask for help. I want to be able to depend on people. But because I've had to be so independent for so long, right. I'm like, bruh, like, I know I can't depend on nobody. Right. I just, I think with, with me saying just it's just me, mm -hmm. I just don't set an expectation for people. Yeah. But I don't want to you know be like that. Like, mm. I just see it as like this, like, if I expect anything from you, then I'm going to always have a plan B mm -hmm. and you in it. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I might not give 100% because I know you're an option. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in situations where I expected this person to save me or this person might have it. You know, like, say I'm staying with somebody or my boyfriend might have the money so I can go do this. Yeah. I'm always thinking like that because I expect. Mm -hmm. But if I don't expect nothing from you, I'm going to already budget my money to where I'm smart and I'm yeah. safe but I don't I know you're there I know you're present if you're gonna help me you're gonna help me because you love me you're around you just do it but I don't expect nobody to do anything and that helps me like keep going that makes me driven because I just think about me what you want what you need what you gotta do how does that help you in a relationship because I know what I want to do in a relationship mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like I know I can listen mm -hmm. I know that's a thing you know what I'm saying? At first, it was just like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really care about listening in a relationship. Yeah. It's just my way or the highway. And really, I kind of like being alone anyway. So, it's like, you leave, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It's whatever. So, it's like, 
I seen the, the pattern of that was beating myself up because I seen my mama do that. You know what I'm saying? I seen my daddy do it. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm cool with people leaving. Staying is the hard part. Yeah. Committing to you is the hard part. That's the work. And I wasn't doing that. I was doing the easy shit. Leave. Whatever. Yeah. Bye. But see, that's what I'm saying about wanting to be able to depend mm -hmm. on people. I'm used to people not being there. Right. I'm used to like people coming in and out of my life. I want some consistency. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to depend on you. I want to be able to say, oh, I need this and you got my man. Right. The same right. way that I got you. Right. I think um, with that, it's just knowing who you're with. Mm -hmm. Knowing who you're with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know now that I need people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I know I need myself 100%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I need people. Yeah. They're resourceful for me. You know what I'm saying? If they truly have love in their heart. You know what I'm saying? I don't need people who only want me under a condition. I need people who unconditionally want to be around me, love me. Because that means whatever I'm going through or whatever's going to happen, you can steer me, yeah. navigate me. That's just a natural reflex we do. It's not asked or beg. Come help me. Come do this. People feel like they, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the people who throw it in your face or whatever. So with me, it was just like, with relationships, I knew I needed people. I knew I needed people. I knew I needed love. I knew I, once I had kids, it was like, I knew I needed people. Because you ain't going to get love like this again. Yeah. It, it come from your children. It come from people. So it's like, I knew I needed people to grow, to elevate, to, to learn from. I couldn't just be all the way by myself, but I needed to rely on myself to be the best me. You know what I'm saying? So other people just want to be in my, my, my presence or want to do yeah. stuff for me or want to be around. It's just giving. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, I ain't have to ask you. You just know my heart. You know my body. You're going to do something for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a difference because I'm doing something for myself. But see, that's what I'm saying. That genuinely, mm -hmm. like, I don't have to, but I want to. Right. I'm here. Right always without right. you even stuttering a word right. like that right. like that's how it is with my best friend like mm -hmm. i could just call my best friend and be like well she can hear it in my boy yeah you good you need some that's just because she she know myself yeah. you know what i'm saying like she know how much i work on myself and if i'm down or if my mood is changing yeah. it's because i'm going through something but she genuinely loved me so mm -hmm. she already just ready to do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's other people I can call and I'm having that same mood. And, and they won't even understand what's going on. They just be like, all right, yeah. yeah. Have a good day. Da, da, da. And just hang up. Don't even know. Yeah, I'm depressed as hell calling mm -hmm. you just just to talk to somebody you don't even know. You're not yeah. even paying. But see, that's know what me. made me realize, like, and I was thinking about this this morning, like, my phone used to be full of contacts. Mm -hmm. And then I was going through a whole bunch of stuff. Like in undergrad, I was homeless. Like mm -hmm. me and my ex-boyfriend was going through hella stuff. Me and my dad was going through stuff. My mom died. She had cancer. Like going through hella stuff. Right. Got like a thousand numbers in my contact. And I can't contact half of them. Right. That's how I be. That's how I be. And a lot of people just be for phases in your life. Yeah. I realize that. Like a lot of people needed to be around me so I can learn certain lessons. You weren't meant to go anywhere with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. You can't learn without without people. Yeah. So I need people to teach me certain things, but you don't grow with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that I had as contacts that I thought was friends and stuff, those were those were lessons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those were little hiccups without the lesson. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once I realized that, like you were just meant to teach me a certain thing. You weren't meant to grow with me. So me but coming back and thinking I could have anything yeah. with you when I'm not that person no more. I, I grew that person. That's just putting myself backwards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like when you elevate and when you start doing certain things, your family, the people you truly love and call family, they always grow with you because yeah. they constantly grow. So y'all all on the same level at the same at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like people who just at certain levels, they just meant to stay there. Yeah. You ain't meant to go back and ask them for help. Yeah. You meant to just elevate. And that's people. the hard part mm -hmm. sometimes, like understanding and accepting it. Sometimes yeah. everybody can't come. Yeah. No matter how much you want them to come, yeah. no matter how much you can give them the manual like put the arrows highlighted yeah put big ass signs yeah. like they just not there yeah and that was a hard pill for me to swallow because i want everybody to i'm the one with the knowledge like i be reading listening right, to stuff right, right. i want to share anything because i want to be able to talk to everybody right. but everybody don't want it yeah, everybody ain't meant to go with you. Yeah, and like Jesus only had twelve for a reason. Right, he could have took masses of people. So it's like I think about that all the time. It's just mm -hmm. certain people are meant for certain purposes. So it's like I don't even 
I learned not to take nothing personal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you in my life for a season or you come and go, I'm going to take it personally. It might hurt a little bit, but I'm not taking it personally, so it follows me. Yes. It might make me feel funny, you know what I'm saying, because I'm human, but I'm not taking nothing that personal. You know what I'm experiencing now? Like, because I try not to take things personally. I'm a very emotional person. Right. So I had to learn how to not show my emotions all the time so now when i don't really express the same emotion emotions that i would people think that I, i'm heartless and i don't care and it's not that it's just you're not about to hurt my feelings i'm not about to give you my emotions for right. you to for you to just do whatever with it. like because i learned that people will really do whatever right, they want right, with your right, emotions facts. and it's people who don't love you who do that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying sometimes you learn that people really don't love you just yeah. by how they treat you just how how they handle your emotions that's right. when you figure it out yeah you don't love me they might say it words mean nothing you could you could mm -hmm. say the national anthem you might not mean none of that shit or know yeah. what it means so it's like people can say that you know what I'm saying? I love you, but it's how they treat you where you know you love. You know what I'm saying? So when they start treating you and handling your feelings in any type of way, it's like, yeah, you saying whatever to manipulate me, but your actions speaking like, hey, yeah. then I gotta move on. You know what I'm right. saying? I just gotta move on. That's so how can people like join the Surrender Project? Like get a become a part of the Surrender Project? Um, right now they can contact me on YouTube. Okay. Um, my YouTube is under Sacred Indigo. Or you can find it under Marley Badu. I'm sure you can find it under Marley Badu, though. Um, my Instagram is also Sacred Indigo. It's got two underscores in the front. Um, Sacred Indigo. Contact me on Instagram if you want to. You can send me a message or you can write me through YouTube. And I tell a lot of people I know. So once it get popping, I have better platforms to contact me on. So. Sounds good. I really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you. Like, I did too. I did too. Thank this you. was really, I felt like I surrendered some more stuff in yeah. listening to you. It's yeah. like more, the more that we talk, it's like the more we connect. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. Bill. That's Absolutely. what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Most definitely. But thank you. Thank You're you welcome, for though. telling me you would do this. Like, You're that, that made me excited, so I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching the Surrender Project once again with Tiffany.